Kia ora, ko Emma taku ingoa. My name is Emma and welcome to my chaotic little cubicle of a study. I'm just going to read you a couple of poems that I submitted to the Possibilities Project and both of them are really about um, the imaginative potential in young children. Um, so it's kind of fitting that you have a lot of my young son's art behind me today to look at while we're reading this. The first poem is called Sorcery. When we were crazy young, we listened, eyes shut to the pound and run of the very thought of magic, as if to warm a dormant bud, open some hidden valve deep in the blood's dark valleys. Behind our eyes, colours of crushed black carbon, a velvet plush scarlet, burnt sienna, the thin sustained ring of some mind wire opening, opening its note at the top of the spine, the force of want that could stiffen the joints, swell the ribs, full body straining with the hunger to be wonder's chosen emissary. Surely if the urge was strong enough, it would run the nerves' flared webs, spill bioluminescence that we could tap like blazing tapers to animate wood, paper, wool, mud, grain, paint, flower, the spiky shadows that furniture threw, Fingerprint smudge on boredom's walls, even the small chainsaw of a fly's hectoring wine. How we willed our touch to tornado and twister that torpid humdrum like some hybrid oar that would sway and soar, skin scented like crushed sage, breath like sipped nasturtium, lower its head to listen as if we were each a lacquered music box where our raw thoughts plinked and bumbled their young syllabary. Yet even so, beast, haunch hunkered, gaze flood swollen, it would still turn to each of us, gaze savage but godly, with a revolutionary love. And the next one is called Twelve. She's walking up the gravel strip, Beside the grassy berm, along the coastal street, barefoot, blue jeans, cicadas electric in the hedge, thrashing on their few chords, stuck like a bad garage band. She's jaunty with sea salt, beachy sweat in her pits, a swipe of sand on her jaw like her dad's holiday stubble, and she whistles to the finches that wheel up from the paddock hay, chores on a piece of soldier grass, with its micro tiara of white petals, swaggers, mind flexing, muscles imagining nobody's body but her own. Thank you.